Hello there. I want to welcome you to the Manifestation Podcast. If you're here and you're listening, I'm Peggy McCall and I'm your host. And this podcast has been designed with one intention. The intention is to help you manifest your every desire. For this particular podcast, we're going to be focusing on you living in the energy of prosperity, of you recognizing that everything that you desire is already there and it's already there for you. So let's talk about living with a prosperity consciousness, living rich, living as if you've already accomplished everything that you desire. How do you do that? Well, how you do that is by first defining how you would love to be living your life. And when I say defining, what I'm really referring to is getting a very clear picture, if you will, an active picture in your imagination that you're already living that incredible dream life as if it is your reality. Now, when you're thinking about that and when you're giving focused attention to that, meaning you living that prosperous life, you have to forget everything else. You've got to forget where you came from. You've got to ignore that you may or may not have any money. Ignore if you have debt. And I'm not saying ignore it from a a point of responsibility. I'm saying for the point of what we're talking about here, you're going to be doing this in your imagination. So in your imagination is where you're going to start by living as if you are already prosperous. Now, if I asked you right now, just take a moment, whatever you're doing, stop doing it, shut down anything else that's distracting you, whether you're looking at social media or you're somewhere else online or whether there's a television going or whatever else is going on, please shut down all other things that could disrupt you or take your attention away. And just for a moment, think about when you're living a prosperous life, Like, really think about this. When you're really living that prosperous life, what's going on? Who are you with? What are you doing? How are you feeling? What are you seeing? Where are you living? Now, all of these questions are inviting you to get in touch with your senses, your senses, your imagining. You've got this powerful ability within you, everyone has it, you definitely have it as well, this powerful ability within you to imagine your desires right into physical form. You literally can imagine your incredible life and have it come into fruition. Now, is it going to come into fruition tomorrow or in the next hour? No, there's going to be a period of time that's going to go by until it manifests into form. But your responsibility now is very simply what I'm going to guide you on throughout this manifestation podcast. And that is to get clear on what does your prosperous life really look like? What does it really look like? What does it feel like? Knowing that you are already rich, what does that feel like? And then in your imagination, you connect. You connect emotionally to imagining that that's how you're living your life. You're feeling it now. Now, you can do that with me right here, right now, right? I'm imagining you're saying, yes, Peggy, I'm doing it with you right here, right now. All right, so start to get clear. What are you seeing? What's going on? When I think about that, when I think about answering the questions that I'm asking you to answer This is very natural for me because I'm doing this every single day. Now, we're going to talk about that in a minute. But what I'm seeing is I'm seeing me doing a lot more support for people and for causes that I love and believe in the most. For example, the Children's Hospital. I absolutely love supporting the Children's Hospital. And the reason is because children are innocent. And I really believe that it is important to give to causes that are close to your heart. So I love the Children's Hospital. I donate to several of them, in fact. 
And I love donating to any causes that are related to children. So when I think of an even more prosperous life, what I see for me and for my husband, Denis, is that we're giving, giving lots away. We're helping a lot of people. We're supporting a lot of people. We're doing a lot of things that's really helping to promote what I do in my business as well. And the reason why I want to do that is because I know that what I have to share with others is incredibly valuable. And the reason why I know that is because what I share with people, what I teach others, what I guide people in are practices and techniques that I personally implemented in my life that have changed my life in every wonderful way. And so that's where I would also invest money. And so because my life is very rich now, the way it is, I don't see a massive change in my life. If anything, it'll be a massive change in the givingness. However, where do I do that? I do it in my imagination. Absolutely in my imagination. I'm feeling it and connecting to it and loving it and giving thanks for it every single day. So if you just did that, if you did the exercise that I suggested, imagining that you're living this rich life, this prosperous life, what are you seeing? What are you doing? Who are you with? <laughs> what are some of the activities you're involved in? How are you living? How are you traveling? All of that. What were some of your answers? Now, if you haven't written it all down before now, I suggest that you do. And the reason is because you want to put pen to paper or fingers on a keyboard and really connect to that vision of your incredible life now. All right. So that's a first step. Now, there are a lot of people who either go to seminars or they get inspired and they sit down and they write out their goals and then they do nothing. And then they think that because they wrote out their goals or they went to that seminar or they invested a few minutes to do that, that bam, this stuff is just supposed to show up in their life. And it doesn't unless and until you are really genuinely creating this experience with your imagination every single day, every single day, you are living in the spirit of abundance. You're feeling the abundance every single day. You wake up in the morning and you immediately think about how wonderful your life is, how abundant your life is, the riches that you have, and you give thanks for it, even if it's not reflected in your bank account. So I'm going to talk to you about the things that I do that really invite this rich, prosperous life and this consciousness into my world and how I do this on a regular basis, meaning every single day, and how you can follow through as well if you want to. And I would suggest only follow through if you do have the desire to create an extraordinary life. So the first thing is the moment I wake up, I've started a practice. This is a relatively new practice. I started doing this about three months ago and I'm now doing it every single day. I meditate. So I meditate for 28 minutes every morning, every morning. The first thing I do is grab my earphones, grab my cell phone because this meditation is on my phone. I plug in the earphones, plug it in. I just slip it under my pillow and I meditate. I meditate before I do anything else. And it's just a great way of waking up, not only feeling relaxed, but very centered, very calm, very confident, and very connected to my amazing life. Then I grab my gratitude journal, but sitting on top of my gratitude journal are two documents that I have laminated. So they're in this clear plastic sheet protectors. And these statements are my bank statements. And these bank statements are reflective of how I see my life with prosperity. So I went online and I found the logo for the bank or different banks because I have a couple different statements. And I created it in a Word document, created these statements to reflect my outcomes, my desired outcomes. I printed them out, laminated them, and put them right on top of my gratitude journal. So every day when I grab my gratitude journal, the first thing that I see are these bank statements. So before I actually take the pen out of my journal and start to write in my gratitude journal, all the amazing things that I'm grateful for, I sit and stare 
at these statements, these financial statements. And quite often I'll kiss them, <laughs> put a big smile on my face. I love seeing them. It's wonderful. I connect to them. You see, what most people do is they're looking at their visa statements or their debt load and they're frustrated and they continue to reside and operate from a place of lack mentality. They may even express it verbally that how frustrated they are because they don't have enough money or whatever. All those things, those expressions, <laughs> whether they're verbally or non-verbally, whether you're feeling it, are energy. And you are attracting like energy back into your life. So if you want to really be prosperous, you have to really feel prosperous, okay? So what I'm sharing with you are tools that I use. And so that's one of the tools that I use is by looking at these statements every single day. And I love them. I love my statements. I give them kisses every day, I put them back on, put them on my nightstand. And then I write my gratitude journal. And when I'm writing in my gratitude journal, I want to be very clear on how to effectively write in a gratitude journal. I write down things that are already in my life, but I am absolutely grateful for. And I'll give you an example. My family is my priority. And they are the things that I'm writing about first. I'm grateful for my family. I'm grateful for our wonderful relationships, our closeness. I'm grateful for health of all of us. I'm grateful for the abundant life that we all live. I'm grateful for the, um, the happiness that we're all experiencing and enjoying. So th that's how I start in my gratitude journal with what's most important to me in my life. And that is my family. So I write about that. Then I'll write down some other af or, or gratitude statements around things that aren't in my life, but I write them down as if they are in my life. So goals that I'm looking to accomplish, but I write them down as if they're already done. And I'll write down at least 10, sometimes more things in my gratitude journal every day, sometimes 11, sometimes 12. But I write those out and I take the time to really connect with the feeling of gratitude while I'm doing it. So that's important. But I will say this, I also bring gratitude forth with me throughout the entire day. So I am feeling gratitude for prosperity. I'm feeling the gratitude for abundance all day long, all day long, not just for five minutes in the morning or 10 minutes in the morning or 10 minutes in the morning, 10 at noon and 10 at night, all day long is very important. That's very key. After I've written in my gratitude journal, the next thing that I do is I will read my affirmations. And I read these affirmations and I connect with them. I have five pages of affirmations that I've handwritten that I've stuffed inside my gratitude journal and I put them there so that I will read them every single day. Some of them are words or statements that I've read out of different books whether it was something out of Dr. Joseph Murphy's book or something out of Robert A. Russell's book or something out of Ernest Holmes. But either way, all of the affirmations that I'm reading are all designed to strengthen me and build the faith in the knowing that everything that I desire is already here right now. And so I read those affirmations. That takes several minutes as well. But most important that I want to state is that when you are doing your affirmations, you must feel them. All right, you must feel them. And then I go about doing a few things around the house or whatever. And I, I will plug in my earbuds and start listening to my power life script. Now power life script, if you don't know what that is, go to powerlifescript.com and you'll find out what that's all about. But a power life script is a audio that I've recorded that is a description of my incredible life as if I'm living it now present tense full of emotion. I listen to my power life script multiple times every single day, every single day. And I love starting early in the morning because if I'm making coffee or making breakfast or walking the dogs or whatever, I can be listening to it while I'm doing other things. So I'm listening to my power life script every single day. I also re I come into my office I read affirmations again that I have tucked away in my office drawer. I read those. I read my top goals every single day. And then I write out my top goal statement multiple times every single day. I also study every single day. 
And I find that studying increases your understanding and helps expand your awareness as well. So it's a very, very beneficial thing to do. Now, as I said, a lot of people, they hear these teachings, they heed these teachings, they abide by them, but yet what they're missing is the consistency. What's really necessary in order for you to be experiencing more of what you desire in your life is to be consistent with it. Recently, I was interviewed, and in the interview, the question was asked, if the version of Peggy that you are today could go back in time to give a message to the younger version of Peggy, what would she say? Knowing what you know today, after studying personal development for more than 40 years, what would the older version tell or advise the younger version? And the answer was, bam, it was here so quickly and it was crystal clear to me on what I would say. And the answer is that I would suggest that the younger version of Peggy discipline herself better. In other words, practice these daily disciplines every single day, every single day, not once in a while, not when you're just going to a Bob Proctor seminar or another Bob Proctor seminar or when you're reading the books, but every single day. You see, back in the 90s, I decided that I was going to discipline myself even more and I created a daily discipline checklist and I made a list of all the disciplines that I was committed to. And I wrote them down on this little checklist and I put Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday across the top. And I made a decision. I need to check every one of these boxes every single day so that I would be following through on all these activities and all of these things that I knew were going to help me manifest even more effectively. So you see, what I really want you to understand is that what we're talking about here with you living a rich life or you living abundantly prosperous, you having everything that you desire, yes, it's possible, but you've got to do this work. You've got to discipline yourself. We're not talking about something that's painstakingly difficult. It's relatively simple, but you've got to get into the practice of doing this every single day. And once you do, wow. It's amazing what you can create, the magic that can occur in your life, but you've got to be willing to do the work. Now, I don't know why anyone wouldn't be willing to do the work, but I know there's you know lazy people in the world or people maybe that don't have the faith that it works, but I'm gonna tell you, I've completely transformed my life in every way. And I know you can transform yours. Maybe, unlike me, you're not looking to transform every part of your life. I certainly was. Maybe you're just looking to transform one part of your life. Maybe you're looking to transform your financial situation only. And if so, listen to what I'm saying here, because what I'm offering you is absolutely your ticket, your ticket to abundance, your ticket to prosperity, your ticket to every desire that you have. Now, I'm speaking from experience. Now, I've been studying this a long time. So whether you've been on the planet more than 40 years or not, I've been here for over 60 years. I've invested a considerable amount of time studying these materials and, of course, teaching the materials as well because I've been in business for well over 25 years. So if you want a more prosperous life, if you would love to really be enjoying more abundance, more richness, in your life, I suggest you follow through with what I'm suggesting right here. It's rather simple. You can certainly apply it in your life starting today. It's not something that you have to go get certified for. I've just given you my own daily practices that have me enjoying this prosperous life that I'm very blessed to live. And I want you to have the same because you deserve it. Everyone deserves it. Everybody deserves to be enjoying a prosperous and a wonderful life. So I suggest that you follow through and you follow through starting today. All right. So that's a wrap for our manifestation podcast for today. If you love the podcast, please share it with everyone you know and leave us a five-star review and make sure that you check in with us again in the very near future for another exciting episode of the Manifestation Podcast. My name is Peggy McCall, and it's always a pleasure to be here to serve you.